वेलकम गाइस टू दिस सेक्शन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ अपाचे एयरफ्लो व्हिच कम्स वेरी हैंडी इन एनी रियल टाइम प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड एज अ वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कवर हाउ टू एक्सचेंज मैसेजेस बिटवीन टास्क यूजिंग एक्सकॉम्स सो अनटिल नाउ व्हाटएवर डैग वी हैव सीन द टास्क इनसाइड इट वर नॉट कम्युनिकेटिंग विद ईच अदर ईच ऑफ द टास्क वाज हैविंग इट्स ओन सेट ऑफ कमांड्स टू रन इन नो केस द टू टास्क वर ट्रांसफरिंग एनी डेटा और मैसेजेस टू ईच अदर but in real time scenarios there may be situations where your application demands to transfer small data from one task to another for example in a dag you have task t1 that reads some values from a text file and in task t2 you need those values to perform some filter operations on some table so somehow you need to pass data from task t1 to t2 to do so you may consider storing the fetched records from task t1 into some temporary table and then in task t2 it will first read data from temporary table and then you will actually use it for filtering on your required table right this is a valid approach and in fact the best approach if your data to be transferred is huge but this approach will be a bit thick if you have a very small data to transfer if your data to be transferred is small then the steps of creating a temporary table writing the data and then reading it would look unreasonable So for these such small data exchanges between tasks airflow has provided us a method called xcoms acronym for cross communication now before we start learning xcoms let me make one thing clear from airflow documentation which states that airflow is not a data streaming solution so at the first hand you should always try to keep any data transfers away from the task but if that transfers absolutely can't be avoided then only xcoms should be put in use Anyways for those unavoidable situations let's start learning xcoms and few key concepts in it xcoms or cross communication is an advanced airflow feature that allows the task to exchange messages or data amongst them xcoms are stored in airflow's metadata database and can be easily accessed through airflow ui xcoms stores data in the form of key value pair In fact, XCOMs are principally defined by a key value along with a timestamp. Unlike variables that just store data in key value pairs, XCOMs along with key value pair also keeps the track of timestamp when they were created. That is the timestamp when a task or dag created that XCOM. Now talking about the XCOMs work at code level. In a single line if I have to say XCOMs are pushed and pulled. where push means to send an xcom and pull means to receive an xcom so in the scenario we just discussed if you want to send some data from task t1 to task t2 then the data at task t1 can be pushed by using a xcom_push method which will make that data available for all other tasks in the dag and in whatever task you have to retrieve the pushed data you can retrieve it by using xcom_pull method All right so these were some of the properties of xcoms now it's time to get into the code and see how actually xcom works at code level 